So as an extension of the Shino glitch, you can also do this on Doorgunner. So here's how it works. I'll just start with uh, the two Chinook strategy. So all you need is a tier 4 and a door gunner. Again, basically how you get tier 5s is you upgrade it mid-air. Let's try Glade Lord. So tier 4, it should be the exact same way you uh, glitch, you know, to get infinite abilities. But this time, it's just not an ability. You gotta press door gun first. Um, select this guy. Quickly hover over with um, the first Chinook ability. Like this. This. Glaive Lord. There you go. Easy. Floating Glaive Lord, guys. You can't even see. You can't even see the boomerang, but you can see its glaives. Let us now be geared. This is honestly how Glaive Lord should be. Otherwise, it's a pretty, uh, pretty meh tier 5. It actually probably is so meh, to be honest. Glaive Lord, our pursuit. Let's try pursuit. Why not? What does it do? Well, it's pretty bad when blizzard leaking. Geared probably isn't the right map to show Glaive Lord on. Let's be real. Also, you can't uh, click the boomerang no matter what. Is that correct to say? Like, for example, if you want to overclock the Glaive Lord, believe you can't select him. Um, actually, you can. No, you can't. You can't. See? I'm clicking on it, but it doesn't work. Nothing. So, tax on time. This should do a little better than, um, Glaive, I think. Let's do this. You know the drill. There's the tax one, boys. Now let's, uh, beat some stuff. Let's try to beat the round that Glaive Lord couldn't. We'll also, uh, out buff. Come on, throw the buff midair for my attack lays. We kinda need it. Me thinks we should have this. Two more to go. One more. Sure, close enough, I'll take that. Now for the ultimate temple. I believe you can give it sacrifices too, although you gotta time it. Time it properly. So basically wherever the tower is hovered over, it's what sacrifices. So we gotta make sure it's in the right spot. Okay, three, two, one. Dorgon? Menu? Uh, now, do it. Sacrifice, tier 4. Um, I believe I can also sacrifice for tier 5. But I did not buy extra sacrifices. So right now, we got a floating head. Let me control this guy again. Follow the mouse. Floating head temple. Yes, indeed. Not a max temple, but you can get max as long as you uh, put towers along the track. Honestly... As crazy as this is, I don't even know if this is the most broken thing to come out of, uh, you know, this glitch. This is far from the most broken thing you can do, because, you know, I mean, temples already have full map range. So how practical is this other than just looking cool? Not really. You're probably better off again door guttering better towers. You know, towers have little range, like maybe a moving super brittle. I think that would be pretty, practically speaking, that would probably be one of the, the best things. Best things with door gunner. But yeah, you might think one temple, door gunner, damn, that glitch is OP. Crazy stuff. What if I told you you could get infinite temples? So let's go to another map. This map, we require water. We're basically going to start off with door gunnering a flagship. So first, tier 3. You can't door gun a tier 4, tier 5. Can't pick it up. 4. Click. 2. Boom, drop it, upgrade mid-round, mid-door gunner, and there you go. You got a flagship that you can't even see, but you do see the planes. Now, that's not also the glitch, because obviously, if you just see this, it's like, oh, that's it? What's so interesting about this? Well, uh, let me lock in place here. Uh, let me choose here. And let's drop a tower. Let me see if I can do this. Saw a spot. Dart Monkey walking on water. Are your eyes seeing this? Yes, yes. That is exactly what it is, guys. So how the hell is this possible? Well, let's follow Mouse. Look at this, guys. You can move your Dart Monkeys with the heli. Now this is epic. That's not it, though, because I believe you can do this with um 
infinite tower. So it's not just these two Domokis. Basically, right now, uh, the Cure flagship is moving, but it's invisible. The platforms are still there. You just can't see it. And it's also not just two towers you can, uh, you know, move with the heli. Let me lock in place again. Wait till you see this. Alright, let me just see if I can do this correctly. So, I am going to move my Dart Monkey to this corner. In the meantime, I'm going to move uh, Fall Mouse. I'm going to hover that Dart Monkey over here. Watch what happens. Whoa! We got two Dart Monkeys now. They're stacked on top of each other. How the hell does that happen? Well, basically, whenever uh, this Dart Monkey lands on uh, wherever the Chinook was moved to, and you also have the heli on the same spot at the same time. It will pri prioritize putting the tower on the heli slash the Cure flagship over the land. So yeah, stacking glitch is back, boys. This time, better than ever. You can move them all at the same time. That's what's cool about this. Before, the stacking was like, oh, it's, ju it's just in one place. That's it. But this is next level, guys. Again, follow mouse. Now we got three darts. Does it work with temples? Well, you'll see in one second. So let me get rid of the darts. I can sell these guys just like that. Bam, bam, bam. We should try some max temples. So let's get a sun god on that dart monkey. And then upgrade the temple. Move it here. Make sure we're hovering over the right spot. Which looks pretty good to me. There we go. We got it. We got it, boys. Now. Now if I can lock in place to upgrade the temple... Wait for it. Can I click it? Yes, yes, yes. Um, I'm gonna need to buy some sacrifices also. So this will be maxed. We're gonna get a max tier 4 temple. Uh, we can probably do tier 5 actually. Yeah, let's do tier 5. All the way. All the way, why not? So, 50k of all these things. Uh, easily over. Tier 4. And tier 5 coming real soon, boys. This time, uh, the base is here. We didn't cut its uh, body off. Benchful, this sandbox. What if I could? Maybe we'll do it in a real game. That's always the ultimate goal, after all. So, true sun god. Bam. We move this temple anywhere we want. Anywhere we please. Let's see if we can beat, like, round one... 10, for example. Y'all ever heard of Temple Micro? Well, that's a thing now. That's a thing in update 17.0. Alright. Now let's stack temples. Let me see if I can pull this off. So the hockey is 6 for sacrificing. Got it? Let's move it. Hover the menu. 6. Hover the darts. Do this. Temple. And then... Mid-air. Come on. Dang it, we messed up. Alright. We missed it. But if we have our heli in the right spot, then yeah, we can move it over. It's a lot easier with this, because you can see the middle, see? Bam, just like that, first try. Well, it temples, the tier 5. You literally cannot see where the center is. I think that's where the issue lies, but there you go. Moving tax zone. Let's pick another tower to uh, Dorgon. Oh! Y'all know this OP combo? Riddle and tax zone. So, we'll just Chinook. Follow mouse. Get the middle pixel. Sounds about right to me. Bam. You got your super brittle combo. Tax zone. Without needing to worry about placements. Beautiful. Now, let's see how fast this thing dies. I'm telling you this thing is an OP combo. Ignore the spike mines. We probably should get rid of that beforehand. Oh yeah, this is also around 110. Let's just send out around 100. Can we beat a round 100 bat on ouch? With super brittle on tax zone. Ignore the flagship. Ignore the DTs. Lost some lives, so that's that's honestly good enough for me. Uh, yeah, more towers, more towers. Permabrew, why not? You want to buff all the towers on the track? Be my guest. So it's very easy to do this multiple times in a row when you can see the middle pixel. Otherwise, it gets hard. So let's do this. Get the middle pixel. Nice. Reactor. Uh, yes, you can do water towers too, I believe. So, Energizer, why not? Let's try again. Water towers. 
Come on, middle? Pixel? Messed up that time. Note, it's gonna be a little bit harder to drop it in because it's... The more towers, the harder it is to see the middle pixel. Come on. Yes, finally. That took a while, but now we got a... A water tower in air. That's new. Alright, we got... I, I forget which towers we had here, but there are quite a bit. Like, eight towers. Eight tier five towers, and some some other... Some other crap. Now let's see if this can be out around, uh... If two towers can be around 100, let's do 120. Ignore the first ET. I uh, wasn't ready yet. Oh man, this will really depend on our bigger jets. Okay. Maybe not an ouch, guys. You may want to try a single lane map. Yeah. That begs the question. Could I maybe stack two of these um glitches that I've shown at once? Like, for example, uh, Infinite Maelstrom. Could I get an Infinite Maelstrom door gunnered? Oh boy. Let me test that. I think you can. Sounds very doable to me. Is here. Sacrifice the Dark Monkey. Bam, bam. Infinite Maelstrom. Oh yeah. And then Shinook it again. Pick it up, please. This is even next level, guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. I don't know if I'd call this the most broken glitch of all time. But this is definitely by far the most fun glitch I've seen. As far as I can remember. I have never seen anything like this. I've seen tower stacking. But I haven't seen door gunner tower stacking infinite abilities at the same time. Should we do a real game now? So this is either going to go really well. And we're going to have some crazy glitch shenanigans late game. Or it's going to be a disaster. And it'll make me avoid co-op for the next uh, year. Chinook. This thing here. Click, tech bot, open, click, supply drop. Watch the infinite cash come in. One cash drop, another one. <laughs> Good job, thanks. Oh yes, food for the family now. Here you go. Some for you, some for you. Oh yes, everyone's, everyone's happy now. Literally the, the economy in a nutshell. Just printing money. Who the hell got a Spear of the Forest? Delete this. What are you doing? How do I say get rid of the Druid? Thank you. <laughs> You're listening. Why is the Tech Tier here also? What are you doing? <laughs> it's always Player 3, guys. Haven't you noticed? The Player 3 meme memes are actually... They're not a joke. There's actually a reason behind them. I bet this... Yep, this is Player 3's too. Yeah, I, I, I bet. I bet. I don't know what the hell Player 3's doing. They're like playing if it's like a real game. The Trihard Towers, Archimage, Sun God. Nah, dude, we don't do that here. This is kind of getting a little uh, cramped for my liking. Oh, Frozen? Is this the Oh, no, no. What's going on? Is this how we're going to end co-op? Not even beating round 80? Uh, let me see if I can do anything. Upgrade? Okay, I can move. Is anyone DC? No, they're, they're all in here, but... Oh, I just noticed, yeah, the sniper glitch stopped. Oh, there's no more snipers. Giving infinite cash. The glitch doesn't work in the update. Yep. Told ya. Told ya. This is the last time you're ever gonna see this, so cherish it. Cherish this moment. Um, can we see if our bomb blitz is doing any damage? Or did it get fixed? Don't tell me they got fixed mid-game. That's not how it should work, right? There's no way they could patch something mid-air. No way. Yo, low-key. I think the update actually might have patched this mid-game. They, they, they fixed the sniper, it's like, it just... I had no idea you could do that, if that's the case. We're gonna confirm that doing the bomb blitz. And we just crashed. Okay, so everybody in the game crashed. Everybody. Alright guys, NK actually was watching while I was doing this. They, they, they wanted the fun to end right there.